Look up. The night sky has been humanity's first screen, our oldest storybook. For thousands of years, we have gazed at the stars, and in doing so, we have discovered our place in the cosmos. This is the story of astronomy, a journey of curiosity that reshaped our understanding of everything. It began with mystery and necessity. Ancient civilizations looked up and saw patterns in the chaos. They built stone circles like Stonehenge to track the sun's journey through the seasons. They aligned the pyramids with incredible precision to celestial bodies. In Babylon, meticulous scribes recorded the motions of planets on clay tablets creating the first calendars and predicting seasons for agriculture. The sky was their clock, their compass, and their connection to the divine. Then came the Greeks, who added philosophy and geometry to observation. They proposed the first mathematical models of the cosmos. Ptolemy of Alexandria in the second century placed the Earth firmly at the very center of the universe. His system of intricate circles and epicycles, while fundamentally wrong, was so sophisticated and mathematically sound that it defined astronomical thought for over a thousand years. It was a beautiful, complex, and human-centered illusion. As Europe entered its dark ages, the light of knowledge was kept burning brightly in the Islamic world. In great observatories and libraries from Baghdad to Samarkand, scholars like Al-Batani made incredibly precise observations. They perfected the astrolabe, a revolutionary device for navigation and timekeeping. They compiled detailed star catalogues, giving many stars the Arabic names we still use today like Betelgeuse and Aldebaran. They weren't just preserving Greek knowledge, they were testing, refining, and preparing it for a revolution. That revolution began quietly in 1543. On his deathbed, a Polish polymath named Nicholas Copernicus published a book that dared to flip the universe. He placed the sun at the center. This heliocentric model was a radical, dangerous idea that dethroned Earth from its privileged position at the cosmic center, challenging both scientific and religious doctrines. Then, just decades later, an Italian scientist named Galileo Galilei pointed a new instrument at the heavens, the telescope. What he saw shattered the ancient perfect cosmos. He saw mountains and craters on the moon, proving it was a world, not a perfect sphere. He discovered four moons orbiting Jupiter, a clear sign that not everything in the universe revolved around the Earth. The universe was suddenly larger, more complex, and far more wondrous than anyone had imagined. But a crucial question remained. What force held this new solar system together? The brilliant answer came from Isaac Newton. He had a profound insight. The same force that made an apple fall to the ground also kept the moon in its orbit around the Earth. This was gravity, the invisible, universal hand that shaped the cosmos, turning the motions of planets and stars into a predictable, elegant clockwork machine described by mathematical laws. The next great leap was to see further, to peer deeper into the darkness. Astronomers built ever larger telescopes, revealing faint fuzzy patches of light in the sky called nebulae. A great debate began. Were these clouds of gas within our own Milky Way galaxy, or were they vast island universes? Entire galaxies of stars so distant, they appeared as mere smudges of light. The question was definitively settled in the 1920s by Edwin Hubble. 
Using the powerful 100-inch Hooker telescope at Mount Wilson, he identified individual stars in the Andromeda Nebula, proving it was a separate galaxy far beyond our own. And he made an even more stunning discovery. By analyzing the light from galaxies, he found that nearly all of them were rushing away from us. The universe itself was not static. It was dynamically expanding, suggesting it was born from a single cataclysmic primordial event. This was the seed of our modern creation story, the Big Bang. Meanwhile, Albert Einstein's theory of relativity had utterly transformed our understanding of the cosmos's fabric. Space and time were not separate and absolute. They were woven together into a single space-time that could be warped and curved by mass and energy. Gravity was not a mysterious force, but the geometry of this warped cosmic fabric. The 20th century then took us from passive observers to active explorers. We launched satellites, landed humans on the moon, and sent robotic voyagers like the Voyager probes to every planet in our solar system. The Hubble Space Telescope, floating in the vacuum of space, looked back in time, capturing breathtaking deep field images that revealed thousands of galaxies in a patch of sky the size of a grain of sand held at arm's length. And today, the journey of discovery accelerates at an incredible pace. The James Webb Space Telescope peers through cosmic dust in infrared light, witnessing the birth of the earliest stars and galaxies. We have now discovered thousands of exoplanets, alien worlds orbiting other suns. With powerful instruments, we now analyze their atmospheres, searching for the chemical signatures that might indicate we are not alone in the universe. From stone circles to galaxy clusters, from mythical stories to the mathematics of relativity, our quest to understand the cosmos has fundamentally reshaped who we are. We are stardust, evolved to consciousness, now looking back at the universe that created us beginning to understand our own origins. We are the universe, beginning to understand itself. <laughs>